Hi, it's Matt Barrero again, doing a grilly squid, scallion, and garlic recipe. Today we're going to take squid, I buy it frozen at the gro local grocery store, and we'll use the bodies and the tentacles here. And you know how difficult this would be to do on the grill by itself. This is nearly impossible. But today we're going to play and we're going to put in scallion pieces in here like this and garlic. We're also going to add a little bit of seasoning from this is a narum from Switzerland. This is ground ginger and we have a little bit of granulated garlic. So we'll add a little ginger in here, a little bit of narum, and a little bit of garlic. Toss this all in together. So this will have sort of an Asian kind of flavor, especially with the um, ginger and scallions here. Hi, it's Matt Barrero again, doing a grilly squid, scallion, and garlic recipe. Today we're going to take squid, I buy it frozen at the gro local grocery store, and we'll use the bodies and the tentacles here. And you know how difficult this would be to do on the grill by itself. This is nearly impossible. But today we're going to play and we're going to put in scallion pieces in here like this and garlic. We're also going to add a little bit of seasoning from this is a narum from Switzerland. This is ground ginger and we have a little bit of granulated garlic. So we'll add a little ginger in here, a little bit of narum and a little bit of garlic. Toss this all in together. So this will have sort of an Asian kind of flavor, especially with the um, ginger and scallions here. So I'm gonna put my scallions in, make a little bit of scallions in here like this. Put some pieces of garlic in. I'm going to pop in, lay that on there, the squid right on top, put a few more pieces of scallion in. And this is going to come out incredible. Now, you're never going to be able to do this in any other grilling device. And you certainly won't be able to do it on the grill by itself. But when you're done with this, this is going to be such a sensational tasting dish. So I got all my garlic like this. And we'll put on our grilly top. And this is what the finished product looks like. Now I didn't not doing a lot in here, but I'm doing enough because this is all we need for ourselves tonight, but you could do almost twice as much. And uh then we're going to spray this with olive oil when we get it out on the grill. And then uh, in a few minutes, we're going to show you what this looks like. 